I accept your nomination to be President of the United States of America. For years, Donald Trump did everything in his power to try to make people fear us. See, his, his limited, narrow view of the world made him feel threatened by the existence of two hardworking, highly educated, successful people who happen to be black. Wait. I want to know, who's going to tell him, who's going to tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs? We have a chance to elect a president who is for the middle class because she is from the middle class. And Chicago, we have to help her win. Because we know that Donald Trump would sell this country for a dollar if it meant lining his own pockets and greasing the palms of his Wall Street friends. I am so proud to be here supporting my friend. But the real reason I am here is that deep down, I truly believe that as a woman of color and as a single mother of three, it is incredibly important that I be appointed ambassador to Italy. That's how this works, right? That's like, like why I'm here. I've never been, I'm dying to go. And guys, I just really need a break. Kamala locked up murderers and drug traffickers. She will never rest in defense of our freedom and safety. Donald Trump fell asleep at his own trial. And when he woke up, he made his own kind of history. The first person to run for president with 34 felony convictions. There are people who want you to see our country as a nation of us against them. People who want to scare you who want to rule you, people who'd have you believe that books are dangerous and assault rifles are safe. But here's the thing. When we stand together, it is impossible to conquer us. Kamala was protecting families as California's attorney general. You bet. And Donald, was scamming students at Trump University and trying to make money off people losing their homes. Kamala Harris stepped up. She enforced the law, she fought the giant banks, and she delivered billions of dollars of help for families. And that is the difference between a criminal and a prosecutor.